Hi everybody and welcome to the latest podcast for Honors Biology at Desert Ridge High School. I'm Mr. Galladay and in this podcast we're going to be talking about uh, the final step in protein synthesis which is translation. Uh, okay this is a good point to update your table of contents, update the organization of your notebook and after that then we are ready to go. Uh, okay in translation, of course, we are converting messenger RNA into protein, which is the final stage of protein synthesis. And before we go into this anymore, I, I want to just review uh, what we talked about in the last podcast, uh, which was transcription. And in transcription, uh, of course, we are converting from DNA uh, to messenger RNA. Okay, so that's the first part of protein synthesis, um, which is converting that, the, the gene which is in DNA, uh, converting that into a, a messenger RNA. This of course happens in the nucleus. Uh, it is performed by an enzyme called RNA polymerase, which you see in this uh, photograph here. This big blue blob uh, is the RNA polymerase enzyme. Uh, and then the mRNA leaves the nucleus and travels uh, out to a ribosome out in the cytoplasm. Okay, so in translation, um, we are we, we start off with mes messenger RNA, and messenger RNA, of course, is a uh, a nucleic acid uh, similar to DNA. It's made of a, it's a polymer uh, of four different nucleotides, which are either A, C, G, or U. Uh, now we call it translation because we're really converting it the the uh, the gene into an entirely different language. We're converting it from the language of nucleotides into the language of amino acids. Now, as you remember, uh, proteins are polymers of, of 20 different amino acids. So we're going from a polymer of four different uh, building blocks, if you will, into a unit which has 20 different building blocks. So it's not like going from DNA to RNA where it was it's basically a one-to-one -one, um, where a C becomes a G, a G becomes a C, uh, a, a T becomes an A, and an A becomes a U. It's not a one-to-one -one, um, correspondence the way it is in transcription. In translation, we're, we're really converting into a, a whole other language. Um, and so since we're converting into a language, there is actually a code uh, to translate from one language into the other. Uh, and that code we, we call the, the universal genetic code. And I'll show you a, a diagram of that in just another, or in just a minute. Um, each of, uh, each three letters, so we look at groups of three letters of RNA, uh, we call those codons, um, and each codon represents one amino acid. So each grouping of three letters of messenger RNA uh, is a codon and and that codon represents one amino acid so what it actually is is the sequence of RNA letters the sequence of nucleotides that determines the sequence of amino acids uh, in the protein and of course the sequence of amino acids is what determines the shape of the protein okay here's that uh, list of um, of amino acids. You don't have to copy these down. You don't have to know these, but I did want you to at least see them uh, to, to get familiar with them. They have names like glycine, alanine, serine, threonine, cysteine, valine, leucine, isoleucine, methionine, proline, phenylalanine, tyrosine, tryptophan, aspartic acid, glutamic acid, asparagine, glutamine, histidine, lysine, and arginine. Okay, so that's uh, the, the 20 amino acids. Uh, and, and we're going to look at just one of them as an example right now. We're going to look at, at leucine. Um, and then leucine, um, this, is, this is a, uh, a simplified diagram of, of, the, um, of the amino acid. And now keep in mind that um, each three letters, which is what we call um, a codon, each each codon codes for one amino acid. Okay, so this is the the genetic code that I was talking about, and here's leucine in the in the genetic code. So anytime when we have a messenger RNA sequence of C U U, 
or CUC or CUA or CUG, um, that translates into leucine. That, that means insert, uh, connect a, 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 a leucine um, amino acid to whatever was the, the previous one in the chain and, and make that the next one in the chain. Okay, so how is the, the, that chain connected and how does that all happen? Well, it, it all, as you may remember, starts at a ribosome. Uh, a ribosome, as we have learned earlier, is a, uh, a machine that, that, makes, uh, that makes amino, or makes proteins, rather. Um, and so the first thing that happens is that messenger RNA strand arrives at the ribosome from the nucleus, right? That carried that genetic message, it carried the DNA message out into the, uh, out into the cytoplasm, out of the nucleus. The next thing that happened is there's something called a transfer RNA. A transfer RNA carries the amino acid to the ribosome. And so here is our CUA. This is our, um, this is our codon, our three-letter group. Uh, and then there is a, uh, an anticodon, which is an opposite or a complementary three-letter group uh, on the end of the, uh, of, of the transfer RNA. So the transfer RNA has a um, has an anticodon at one end, and then opposite that anticodon is where it has the amino acid. Okay, so the uh, the transfer RNA is actually the thing that that matches up that that particular amino acid to that particular uh, that particular codon. Okay, so here's our leucine now, uh, which is which is brought to the ribosome, uh, and and so again it, it's that. It's that area right in here uh, that is the um, that is what matches that anticodon up with the codon. That's where that happens. Okay. Next thing that happens now is our uh, our, our previous uh, grouping of, of amino acids that was already here. Our leucine gets gets grouped in with that. gets uh, gets connected to that chain. Okay. So it, it just got connected to the, the previous chain. Um, and so now the, the ribosome is ready to move down the messenger RNA and connect the next, uh, uh, the, the next transfer RNA or, or to actually connect the next amino acid on, onto the chain. Okay? So we've got this newly synthesized amino acid chain and we, and we just continue doing this until we reach a codon which basically represents the stop function. Okay? Here's another animation of that. Here we see our, our methionine, uh, methionine coming in. Uh, the little green uh, things are the transfer RNAs, okay, and you see our ribosome working its way down the messenger RNA at the bottom, and you see these transfer RNAs coming in, uh, carrying the amino acid in, and then the, uh, the, the chain of amino acids gradually building out the top, okay. Um, that was just the stop codon that, that we reached, uh, and so at the end of this whole thing now we have our, our growing protein, which is, uh, well, our, our completed protein, which is ready to be released. Okay, um, so here is a preview of um, the, the little video that I'm going to show you in just a second. So um, uh, again, as we've said, translation takes place at a ribosome. Okay, so this uh, bluish blob represents our ribosome. Okay, this is our messenger RNA strand, which uh, the um, the ribosome is reading. Um, so the messenger RNA has the information. The transfer RNAs are carrying the amino acids. The transfer RNAs are these little green things that you see coming in here, um, and and so they're what's carrying in the amino acids. The amino acids are assembled into a chain, and you see that chain coming out of the top here. Uh, that is our, uh, our, our growing uh, chain of amino acids, which is our growing protein. The order of amino acids is what determines the shape of the completed protein, and it's the order of, uh, of nucleotides uh, on the messenger RNA that determines the order of amino acids. Okay, here's one of our transfer RNAs. Uh, it has an amino acid at one end. It has the anticodon at the opposite end. And here you see the, uh, the transfer RNAs coming into the ribosome 
uh, they are matching up that anticodon at one end and they are um, attaching that amino acid onto that growing, growing chain, uh, that growing protein chain out at the other end. Okay, so the, the, the anticodon matches up with the co codon and then the amino acid up on the tip of, uh, uh, on the other end of the uh, transfer RNA is added to that, that growing chain. And then, of course, it's that sequence of amino acids that determines the shape of the final protein. Okay, so here comes the little video. When the RNA copy is complete, it snakes away from the nucleus and into the outer part of the cell. Then, in a dazzling display of choreography, all the components of another molecular machine lock together around the RNA to form a miniature factory called a ribosome. It translates the genetic information in the RNA into a string of amino acids that will become a protein. Special transfer molecules, the green triangles, bring each amino acid to the ribosome. The amino acids are the small red tips attached to the transfer molecules. There are different transfer molecules for each of the 20 amino acids. They all carry a specific three-letter code that will be read by the machine. Now we come to the heart of the process. Inside the ribosome, the RNA is pulled through like a tape. The code for each amino acid is read off three letters at a time and matched to three corresponding letters on the transfer molecule. When the right transfer molecule plugs in, the amino acid it carries is added to the growing protein chain. Again, you are watching this in real time. And after a few seconds, the assembled protein starts to emerge from the ribosome. Ribosomes can make any kind of protein. It just depends what genetic message you feed in on the RNA. In this case, the end product is hemoglobin. The cells in our bone marrow churn out a hundred trillion molecules of it per second. So let's quickly review what we just saw. And what we just saw was a translation taking place at a ribosome in the cytoplasm. Okay, so you saw the, uh, the ribosome shooting down the, uh, or not really shooting, but reading through the, the sort of like reading a tape or reading, uh, you know, reading down, a, uh, yeah, I guess reading a, reading a tape. Um, the messenger RNA has the gene, which is the information. Uh, and then the transfer RNA carries the amino acids to match the anticodon on the transfer RNA with the codon on the messenger RNA. Um, and then uh, as it did that, then the amino acids are assembled into a chain which comes out of the, um, out of the uh, ribosome. And at the end, uh, when it reaches the stop codon, uh, the the protein is, is set free and the whole process is complete. Okay, uh, so that was our review of the uh, translation product, pro <laughs> the translation process. Uh, I'm Mr. Galladay for Desert Ridge High School and I hope you have a great day.